How did you react to the discovery of precisely what it was? Dismay, I suppose. Uh, after a little while I got over the dismay. Um, I was even a little excited by the drama of the fact that I'd got cancer. <laughs> that sounds quite ridiculous. But I thought, gosh, this is something really serious. Having been someone who all my life had always had a touch of cancer, you know, to really find you've got the real thing was very interesting. How many years ago was that? I think about... Uh, about ten years ago. Yes, about that, I think. So you've held your own pretty well? Uh, until quite recently, when it started to gallop a little bit. And uh, I thought I would say nothing about it, because it didn't affect me or my work all that much and uh, tried to keep things to myself. Unfortunately, rumours started to get around and somebody from the News of the World had his foot in my door before very long. And uh, I kept them at bay for as long as I could and they were really making my life very uncomfortable and I was peering out of the window to see if anybody was around before making a dash for my car and things like that. And uh, eventually my agent said, oh, I I think you'd better hire a publicist and come clean, so that's what I did. And actually it, it worked quite well, because the excitement died down. I think they were hoping against hope that I might have AIDS, you see. I mean, respectable married man, grown up family, it'd be a lovely story, wouldn't it? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, disappointed, they turned away.